implant overdentures are desirable options for edentulous patients because of improved retention and stability. While it is recommended that implants be placed parallel to each other, it is not uncommon for implants to be oriented with varying degrees of divergence. Occasionally, clinicians will encounter abutments of sufficient divergence in height that the denture cannot fully seat due to interferences with the denture base. If an attachment can't get to position, retention will be decreased. This diagram shows the denture's path of insertion as red dotted lines, and you can see in the area of the green dotted line on the right-hand abutment where acrylic needs to be removed in order to let the attachment fully seat. This video describes a technique for identifying and eliminating denture base interferences for implant overdentures. Prior to placing retentive inserts in the overdenture, adjust the implant overdenture to ensure there are no anatomical impediments to full seating of the prosthesis. Once that's done, place retentive inserts in the attachment housings and attempt to seat the prosthesis interorally. If the denture does not fully seat, proceed to the next step. Place the disinfected overdenture on the cast holder of a surveyor. Use a tongue blade at the posterior border to stabilize the denture securely in the jaws of the cast holder. Do not tighten excessively or the denture could break. The denture must not move in the cast holder for the subsequent steps. Place an implant replica into one attachment of the denture that is closest to the desired path of insertion. Use an analyzing rod or a carbon marker to parallel the replica. Tighten the ball joint of the cast holder. Use a carbon marker to mark the height of contour on the internal surface of the acrylic surrounding the abutment housing of the other implant locations. Identify areas where the height of contour indicates an undercut. Keeping the denture in the cast holder Use a flat-sided laboratory burr to trim the acrylic parallel to the path of insertion. Contour the axial surfaces to eliminate the undercut. Lastly, finish and polish any sharp angles or rough areas, disinfect and return the prosthesis to the patient. When you are finished, the overdenture should snap into place without interference.